Hey groovy guys and gals, cats and kittens. Welcome to the part four of this four part series of case number one of the miniature car collector case and showroom showcase the something or other. <laughs> uh, we've looked at all these cars in the previous three videos. And now we're gonna take a look at these. You ready to do this? So many cool vintage cars in this case. I love looking at cases. So let's do this. You ready? Hey cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clock. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Oh man, do I love these old cases and old cars. So, I don't know what to pick out first. Let's try this one. Now this one's a little uh, whack a lack a jack attack And this is a hay wagon, okay? Now, unfortunately, these pieces are just busted up to all no get out or whatever. These are just destroyed, but it, Again, a lot of careful time and energy. You could probably get these back together in somewhat fashion. It looks like they had something glued in the bottom of this. Again, kids' minds are always fast. So the battery went dead on me. I don't know what I lost or showed you. This is the first car out, so I will show you this again really quick. Now these these are usually missing something was glued in the bottom of this and we're missing some front wheels on it now this is a tractor trailer um hay trailer by lesney it's missing the two front tires like i said something was glued in there and it doesn't have the daisy chain that you can do with that so that's cool so maybe these are are these hay bales i don't think so again i know they make round hay bales but they don't look like <laughs> pardon me <laughs> anyways those could be hay bales for that i don't know not quite sure what those are whiskey barrels hay bales i don't know but still kind of cool. Then, look at this. Very cool. Now, remember I was talking about the black wheels and gray wheels? These are gray wheels. So this is an older vehicle. Missing the treads on the back, which is too bad. And this is a personnel carrier number three, or M3. Made in England by Lesney. I don't know if the camera's out of focus or my glasses aren't working. But anyways, very. That piece is gorgeous. I think I do have one of these as a duplicate, but I'm not quite sure. Now, I loved it when they had a, a top over the thing and a gun turret. They had a Roco mini tank like that, which was really, really sweet. But look at this piece. Oh, I'm digging that vintage. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, here's a more modern car. Again, I can't get it because it's it fits so tight into the... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's a Porsche 910. <laughs> and look, it's printed backwards. <laughs> what a dork. You got to see the other video. So, again, as boys will be boys, they painted this one. Very interesting. The windows are usually jacked somehow with paint. They didn't know how to mask it off. Rubber cement. You can put rubber cement on there or uh, masking tape. But this is a super fast, which is kind of cool. See that just spelled out before they had the logo. 
But again, kind of a very interesting piece on that. Let's see what we got else in here. Oh, again, this is one of the vehicles I saved from my childhood in my original five cars. This was the wrecker, the BP wrecker. And so you had the BP gas truck, the exploration, you had the wrecker here. I think there was one more. Help me out, guys, gals, cats, kittens. Dodge wreck truck. Made in England by Lesney. Number 13. Now the whole uh, tow unit is, is cut out of here or broken off somehow meticulously and look that wheel is whack a lack of jack attack and that is hard to do on a matchbox isn't that crazy oh that is nuts now this this one section of tr of the case is not totally full which is okay here is Lucille Ball's big trailer. Now this had a roof over the top, removable roof, and I do not see it in this case. It might be in the other, and look, this, it's like they were uh, trying to convert this into something else. But what? I don't know. But I'm thinking we can push that back down in there. Maybe, with a tool. Let me see if I can grab a tool here quick. It was great video, guys. Great video. Here's my old screwdriver set that my mama gave me when I was a kid, and it still works great. Always makes me think of her. It's got these tiny little screwdriver sets. Now, Klein Tools does make screwdriver sets. And let's see if we can get this pushed back in there. Or it could just totally come out. Oh, look at the hitch on that. That is pretty nice. So did it go this way? This way? I'm guessing this way. Because it lines up with the door. So is it better to put this in first? Yeah, I think so. There you go. I didn't need to force nothing, no how, no way. That is good. So here is your information on the bottom. Made in England by Leslie Matchbox Trailer Caravan. Look at that. Is that nice? Again, a roof, maybe a simple roof could be um, created, fashioned, or something. Now, yeah, I always told my kids, put the tools away, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't, as you all know. Then, here, this is the TV repair van. Now, I sent one of these off to Saul, and unfortunately, I never got it back. He was refurbishing it for me, and it looked fantastic. But, um... I've talked to his partner a couple times and she's uh, she found it but she's <clears throat> moved to a different location and uh, she was just in the midst of moving and grieving and it was just TV service van but it would be cool to have a piece that Saul made now he made he made uh, pieces for Trixie he made pieces for soda pop he just, he just, again, I've known him for probably five of the six years that I've been doing this. And he and I would email back and forth constantly off-site. Uh, great guy. Just miss him. Can't believe he's gone. But he did so much for the community. Just amazing what he's done. So, anyways, TV repair truck. Very cool. Reminds me of our good buddy Saul. And then here, look at this. Remember this one? Oh, I had this as a kid. Ladder that came across the back. And then there were... There was something else. Was it just a ladder on this one? But again, so cool. 
There it is, whatever it is. It's a uh, Merriweather. Marcus Series 3 fire engine made in England by Lesney. And again, black wheels, not gray wheels, which is kind of cool. But sturdy all around. Ladder should probably be a, a simple find somehow, some way. But that is the last in this grouping. I don't see or hear anything else in this case. And here's the case that it came in, which is so cool. And I love the fact that they would set it up like a book. But again, no one has books anymore. And these are my cars. And they'd list out all the cars. 1966. Oh yeah, this one's definitely 66. The other one had a typo on it or like a smear in the printing. Now these, uh, these case dividers seem to have shrunk up a little bit because you'd really have to stretch them to get them tighten up. See that? They're not quite lining up, but that is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> so this is case number one. What do you think? Got a favorite? Here's all the cars that we did from one through four. Oh, so much fun. Look at these. Again, that one is my all-time favorite out of this case. So much cool stuff in here. So, are you ready to do the next case? Next video, right? So, it's 316 on old Johnny Clock. <laughs> and remember, like and subscribe. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for the comments. And we will see you on the flip-flop on that orange black top. Till next time. Rock on, my babies! <laughs> Rock on. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!